You and I have been locked into the World Series of Poker. Noticed yes. a familiar face on the ESPN broadcast. Former Patriots great, three-time Super Bowl champ Richard Seymour made a deep run into the field of over 8,500. Amazing. Finally got knocked out last night after the coverage went off the air late. Finished in 131st place, taking home just under 60 grand. And that's the greatest finish of any professional of any athlete professional at the World Series of Poker. Ever. And then the whole f- country was talking about his... Yeah, he had this uh, super fine Louis Vuitton lap bag at, at, that he was wearing, and the mm-hmm. whole broadcast just kept wondering what was in the bag, like Marcellus Wallace's suitcase. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> let's ask the man himself. Let's kind enough to call in from Las Vegas, Nevada, fresh off of an amazing run in the World Series of Poker. I have not spoken to this man in quite some time. How have you been, Richard Seymour? Doing well, gentlemen. How are you? Been, right. been too long, huh? It has been. Th- <laughs> you are calling in more heavy pocketed than you were yesterday, Richard Seymour. What a what a run! Nah. What a run! Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, it was uh, it was definitely fun. You know, I say uh, I say that. You know, um, you know, I, who, you know, in spots like that, you just, uh, you know. It, Put it like this: If you would enter a tournament with over five thousand people and think you're going to final table it, you know it's a sucker bet, <laughs> you know. But you know, you just go out, you have fun, and then you know, at the end of the day, you let the results be what they are. And and in this game, all you can do is make good decisions, and you know, it's variance with the cards. So um, you know, it's really a decision oriented game. How'd you get knocked out? What, what hand knocked you out? I didn't see you. The, the coverage well, went off there. It was yeah, late night, late at night, well, right? Actually, I, yeah. Well, actually I, I probably had about 10 big blinds, um, uh, late in the night. Right. And I, I ended up shoving, uh, King four on the button. So it just had to really get past two people who were, didn't have big stacks themselves. So actually it was a pretty solid spot to kind of get it in. Were you suited? Um, Were you suited? No, actually I was off suit there, but I was so tight. The rest, I mean, for about 30 hands, I folded like 30 hands in a row. So I thought I was, I was, I actually would have got it through, but it was just very unfortunate because the small blind ended up waking up with uh, pocket Queens, Mm. you know? And so So obviously he called and then the big blind called as well. And he had ace four suit, ace three suited. But it's funny. So one called, and then the aces in the big blind they ship it all in. And so the queens had the call as well. So it was a three way all in mm. on the hand that I got knocked out. And anyway, like I said, I had king four, and it was a king high flop. So I out flopped the king, the queens, and then the ace was really pretty much uh, drawn to like two outs because. One of the guys had already folded an ace, and then it came bing. He he binked the queen <sighs> on the turn, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, those are just you uh, know some of the spots that happen. But oh man, it's all good. but a hell of a no run, word. Richard. I mean, that was a a <laughs> a a heck of a run. Um, when yeah. did you first get into poker? Well, actually, I played a lot growing up with my dad, just kind of, you know, okay. and cousins and that sort of thing. And then, uh, you know, just even in the league, you know, we would have like Monday night. I would play with some of the guys uh, while we watch Monday night football. We would just kind of just fool around, like not even for like no money, just uh, bragging rights, uh, you know, when I played. Give me the and, game. Uh, who, who's playing it, in the game? Who Who's in I, that game? Uh, Big, Big John Henderson. Okay. Uh, actually, actually, it was uh, – with my days out in Oakland. Okay. Uh, Big John Henderson, uh, Quentin Groves. You know, and then actually, you remember that year, I think it was maybe 2012, we had a lockout. That was, I think it was the lockout. 2011, yeah. Yeah, that was 2011. Yeah, it was 2011. So what happened, I had their their entire team come down to Atlanta, and we trained down there while we had the lockout. So what I did is I had some dealers, and, you know, just to kind of get the guys together, a little camaraderie. We actually played uh, like a big team tournament uh, then, so it was it was fun. You know, it's just like I said, it's a fun hobby. Sure, some competitive, you know, keep your competitive juices going because everybody. I mean, we still have that that fire to keep it going, but you know, so it's just a great outlet. Well, so you're saying when you played Richard she- Richard Seymour here on the Rich Eisen show, so you said Richard when you played uh, poker, it was in Oakland. 
Does that mean BB stands for Bill Belichick, not Big Blind in New England? Is that what you mean? <laughs> huh? Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't happen? You didn't have those games at, uh, in New England, Richard? Uh, yeah, no, actually, we had a, we had a few games uh, then, but, okay. you know, we played actually, you know, we would always play, like, different games. I remember Ty Law, he always liked to play Tunk and, you know, a bunch of different other games. So um, that's what we did with those guys. But like I said, it was just, you know, it was just something fun to do and, you know, just great uh, team camaraderie. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.